Hi, I'm Miss Amy, and this year in our Bible lessons, we're going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. And we're going to talk about a different one each month. But talking about fruit, and I have an apple tree here, it made me think, I'm wondering how many of you this fall will be going to an apple orchard or have already gone to an apple orchard. And so I imagine that you and your family got in your car and you went off to your favorite apple orchard. And when you got there, you were looking and the first thing you saw in that orchard were those trees, rows of trees. They're usually lined up and they're big, beautiful trees, aren't they? And you looked and you can see the big branches and there's lots of leaves on the branches. And so when you get out of the car, you grab your bag and you go find your favorite kind of apple and you start picking and you're pulling those apples off the tree and they're big, good fruit. You put them in your bag and you take them home and you eat them, right? But now imagine, let's just say the same thing. You are going to the apple orchard. So you and your family get in the car and you're driving there and you're so excited and you're looking out the window and you go in the driveway. And the first thing you see are the rows of apple trees in that orchard. But this time it, it looks a little different. And you're looking in the trees, they just, they don't look as big as they looked last year. In fact, they look kind of scraggly. And well, you just get out of the car anyways, but you notice there's, there's branches, but they don't have, they don't have many leaves and the leaves that they do have are kind of brown. But you grab your bag and you go find your favorite kind of apple and you go and you start to pull the fruit off. But when you pull it off, you notice it's, well, the fruit's bad. It's, it's maybe mushy. It's rotten even. It's, it's bad fruit. And my guess is if that happened, you'd probably get back in the car and you'd go home, wouldn't you? And you'd go to a different apple orchard because those bad trees had produced bad fruit. And you want to go someplace with good trees that produce good fruit, right? Well, do you know that in the Bible, Jesus said that people are like trees. And you can tell which people really love God from which people really don't love God by the fruit they produce in their life. Now that doesn't mean that I can get an apple out of my ear or a banana out of my elbow or anything like that. It's not that kind of fruit, but the spiritual fruit that comes out of a person's life, Jesus says he can tell whether they really love God, whether they're really God's child or whether they're not. And the reason that is, is because once you have received God's gift of salvation, you've asked Jesus to forgive you for your sins and you become a child of God, God gives you the gift of the Holy Spirit. He sends the Holy Spirit to live within you and the Holy Spirit helps you. He helps you to change your mind and your heart to think and to act like God. And so because the Holy Spirit's living within you and helping you, you are beginning to produce good spiritual fruit. And people can see these things in your life. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness and self-control. And we're going to talk about all of those this year. They come out of your life and people know. On the other hand, if you've never received God's gift of salvation and you aren't God's child, you don't have the Holy Spirit living within you, then Jesus is saying the fruit that your life is producing is bad fruit. And so your attitudes and your actions and your thoughts, they're not going to be pleasing to God and people will see that too. And so this year, we're going to talk about the fruit that comes from you when you are God's child. And so what I want you to remember just from what we've talked about today is one, if you've never received God's gift of salvation, if you aren't God's child, that's the most important decision you can ever make. And so keep coming back and listening to these lessons and we're going to talk more about how you can do that. And then the other thing that I want you to think about is that when you have received God's gift of salvation, remember the Holy Spirit is living within you. He's helping you to make godly choices, to, to make choices in your life that produce good spiritual fruit. And you can pray and you can ask God to help you to do the things that would be loving, joyful, peaceful, all of these. And so you have that within you to help you. So keep coming back. I'm glad you came today and keep listening. We're going to talk. The first one we're going to talk about is love. So be watching for that lesson and, um, and we'll be coming back several times. So goodbye.